Crews still working to restore power in Texas more than a week after that big winter storm swept the state. Our tech reporter Jordan Hogan joins us live to explain how Utah is able to resist a statewide power outage like this. Jordan, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Kerry. We still suffer from power outages when winter weather strikes, but it's how quickly we recover that differs. It all comes down to how our power grid operates that gives us an advantage. Texans are struggling without power after Mother Nature pushed a powerful winter storm in the state's direction. This is something Utah is all too familiar with. But even though we deal with outages when severe weather hits, they don't tend to knock out power to the entire state. Masood Parvania, an associate professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Utah, says it comes down to how resilient a state's power grid is. This can be measured in two ways how big of an outage we experience and how long it takes to recover. When a large event happens, uh, our system doesn't actually get a lot of outages, but also we recover uh, fast out of it because uh, the infrastructure is planned for that. The infrastructure Parvania is referring to includes more switches and sensors. These help crews track down the exact location of outages a lot faster. The switches can be accessed remotely too, so simple system reboots can be done virtually, saving more time. But with this remote access comes an added layer of danger for our power grid. The more uh, uh, connectivity you add to the systems, specifically infrastructure, you are also increasing the vulnerability to cyber attack. That's why the associate professor designed cybersecurity solutions in his Utah Smart Energy Lab to help patch any possible weaknesses that hackers may go after. We first test them in the lab environment so that they are validated if they are going to be taken into the operation in real world. Another issue that Texas deals with is how isolated it is on its own power grid. Utah is on what's called the Western Interconnection. It includes all of the Western states, a couple of provinces in Canada, and a small portion of Mexico. This means the other connected areas can help compensate smaller outages and save us from a total blackout. Now, the university professor did note that even though the Texas power grid was linked to other, if it was linked to other power grids in other states, it may have not been enough to avoid the catastrophic failure that it did because they too were dealing with some outages caused by severe weather, Dan and Kerry. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. Very, very interesting where we're going with all this and surprising this happened in the first place. Yes. So, hey, Jordan, by the way, nice tie. Thank you. Yeah, we must have twinned it today. Dave. I like your style.